The National Towing Project is spearheaded by the National Road Safety Commission and in collaboration with the Driver Vehicle and Licensing Authority, the police and some private towing companies. Information indicate that broken down vehicles on roads contribute 25% of road crashes in the country. The towing project will therefore ensure broken down vehicles are removed. Beginning July this year, the National Road Safety Commission and the DVLA and other partners will begin towing vehicles that will break down on the roads. But this will be after motorists would have paid for some charges during registration of their vehicles. Motorcyclists would pay 10 cities per year. Cars with engine capacity less than 2,000 cc will pay 40 cities, while buses and passenger commercial vehicles would pay 80 cities per year. Articulator trucks are expected to pay between 80 and 100 cities yearly. Motorists who have their vehicles broken down would have to call 0800-772772 or 18555 within one hour on main roads or within two hours on highways. We can tow off your vehicle to a safe point, give you full-time security and safety. Once we do that, you have up to 72 hours, that is three days, to move your vehicle from that safe point. We may give you a certain grace period, a day or two, in addition, but not more than five days, your vehicle must be off. Failure to call within the time will attract punishment. If you refuse or deliberately do not call police, but abandon the vehicle and leave it, there is a requirement under the law that the police should ensure that it will be brought to book. Director of Planning at the National Road Safety Commission, Engineer David Osafo Adonteng, said persons will be recruited to patrol with motorcycles, but hopes to replace the manual monitoring with a satellite system to track drivers in their control room. He said previously there was a system to tow broken down vehicles, but explains that was costly. Sometimes you pay 1200 some people paid 1,600, depending on the capacity of your vehicle. There were times that people were even paying 3,200. The project is currently being piloted at some locations, including Kasua, Tema Motorway, and on the Insawam to Bonsu Highway.